My name is Thomas Vail. Or at least it was. I'm a photographer. I had it all. A wife, Allison. Friends, a career. And in one moment it was all taken away. All because of a single photograph. I have it. They want it. And they will do anything to get the negative. I'm keeping this diary as proof that these events are real. I know they are. They have to be. There's an old song that talks about taking one step forward, two steps back. I never imagined it would one day sound so prophetic. But it seems to be the story of my life right now. Just when I seemed to have gained an ally on my journey, that ally was taken away from me. I still have the palm top computer he gave me. Obviously, there's a chance that the information in it has already been compromised. But there's also a chance that his death might have protected the information. That's the chance I'll have to take. Claire Hillard was a reporter for the Lexington Tribune. It seems she received her press clearance and was assigned to the sector where I was stationed four days before a hidden agenda was taken. I never met her when I was down there, but we traveled in the same circles. Maybe it was time for those circles to intersect. My mission was complicated by the fact that I no longer even knew for sure just where that photograph was taken or what it was of. Perhaps Claire could help confirm or deny the authenticity of the events I once believed took place. I'm looking for Claire Hillard. She's she's not here right now. Oh, well, if, if, if there's any way I could get a hold of her, it, it's kind of important. Are you a friend of Claire's? Well, well, we're old acquaintances. I haven't seen her for many years. Well, I'm sorry. I'm not going to be speaking with her until she gets home from work. Oh, well, well, if you could just let me know where she works, then maybe I... I could... will tell her you were here when she gets home. Now, what is your name? Robert. Robert McMillan. I'll tell her you stopped by. Listen, I'm sorry. I, I, I just got into town. I don't know exactly where I'm staying. I thought maybe there's a place nearby. There is. Um, a motel a couple of miles down the road from here. Great. Okay. If, please, when you see her, just please tell her to call me there. I will give her the message. It's important. Since Claire didn't know Tom Vail from Adam, I chose a name I thought she would remember. Robert McMillan was a reconnaissance officer in charge of the press corps. Every reporter had to go through him. And how would you like to pay for this, Mr. Uh, McMillan? Uh, cash. Oh, my favorite color. $20 a night. You traveling alone, uh, Robert? Yeah. Well, if you need anything, you let me know. If you're looking for some entertainment, secretaries drink free every Wednesday night at the White Eagle. It's just around the corner. A guy like you ought to be like fishing with a shotgun. That's 337. It's upstairs on the second floor. Okay, thanks. Get a tap going. Thanks. You 
got it. So uh, just help myself the food up there? <laughs> Same as always. Tom, if you think you're getting away with this, you are mistaken. Excuse me? Excuse me. <laughs> you certainly weren't that polite last night. <laughs> last night? Um, mm -hmm. listen, I'm sorry, I think you have me uh, confused with somebody else. Hmm. I'm not sure. You're not sure uh, what? Hmm? <laughs> you don't remember this? This. <laughs> Come on, Tom. You didn't have that much to drink last night. Listen, I honestly don't know you. Well, maybe you need me to jog your memory a little bit. <laughs> you certainly seem to be in a hurry to repeat what you don't remember doing in the first place. What? What you up to this? What are you doing? What do you want, huh? You want me to say it never happened? All right. It never happened. I don't need this. I said, who put you up to this? I said it never happened, okay? I've never seen you before. Your name isn't Tom Vale. We didn't spend the night together. You don't have a strawberry birthmark on your right shoulder. What are you talking about? Oh, please. Ah! Ah! Everything all right over there? Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Next time you're feeling all warm and tingly, like you need it real bad, don't call. I don't think he's in his room right now, but I'll patch you through. Hello? Is this Robert McMillan? Claire. Look, whoever you are, I don't want to talk to you. Listen, if you could just... Stay away from me. You stay away from my house and stay away from my mother. I swear, if you bother me again, I'll call the police. Look, I just need a minute of... Hello? Hello? Elmer? I'd come over 5,000 miles to see Claire Hillard. In spite of her insistence, I thought I might have better luck in person.
I'm really so sorry, Tom. It's just.